I work for Omise Go, and I'm uh, helping to research and build out Plasma, which is a blockchain scaling solution. Uh, and as we kind of push the Plasma ball forward, uh, it's becoming more and more relevant for basically dApp developers who need access to scaling now. Uh, I would say the dApps uh, that can most be uh, most easily be plasmified are dApps where you have uh, not a lot of kind of interaction with other smart contracts in the ecosystem. So you could take like a relatively simple Solidity smart contract where you just need to acquire that transaction throughput and then build that into the infrastructure level of a plasma chain. Because the white paper threw out EVMs inside of EVMs we're all hoping and working hard to make EVMs inside of EVMs happen, but we're not there yet. So yeah, simple and like pretty clear cut Solidity smart contracts that you can convert into kind of the infrastructure level of Plasma Child Chains. Okay, can we answer this together? Yeah. That's not, I wasn't yeah. even paying attention though. I'm just saying exactly what he said. I just provided the food, okay? <laughs> okay oh, perfect. that's you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you got? So, so this event has been a total blast, uh, super well put together, uh, super fun. I love the city of Barcelona and I've learned a lot uh, going in. I knew about like basically uh, what PEOA was, but I uh, knew less about kind of uh, the design goals in mind and the motivations uh, for doing it, uh, which yeah, now I feel like I kind of understand a more holistic picture. And uh, it's super cool to see how many projects are working on pushing state channels forward, just because I feel like uh, there's a lot of kind of room for a symbiotic relationship between uh, plasma and state channels. Uh, basically, uh, easiest use case is using state channels uh, to basically provide efficient withdrawals from plasma child chains. Like here? Or I'm not allowed to think. No. <laughs> okay. So I'm super, uh, super excited to kind of uh, collaborate with other people who are pushing, other teams that are pushing the Plasma research forward uh, first and foremost, just because kind of Plasma is a very big picture architecture model and there's, it's basically a huge design space uh, to cover. So we really need more researchers kind of digging into different details with economic incentives uh, with kind of different ways to track state transitions. So I really, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to kind of start collaborating more with other teams who are currently working on Plasma. Uh, more at the ecosystem level, I'm super excited for utilize, utilizing state channels for more efficiently tracking child chain state. So yeah, basically if something goes wrong on a Plasma child chain, using state channels to kind of help uh, create a more efficient interactive game than would be possible on the Ethereum mainnet. Thank you. Okay, so uh, basically uh, 
just mashing everything together. I'm thinking of Plasma and Child Chain using Tendermint Consensus and the Tendermint P2P layer because uh, especially in terms of networking and P2P, I am not looking forward uh, to p having us like handle that ourselves, at least in the near future. We have a lot of other stuff to focus on. Uh, then uh, when we're talking about state transitions on the child chain, uh, not only can we use state channels potentially to kind of make the interactive game more efficient, but I'm super pumped about Truebit because they're basically what they're doing is uh, using bisection uh, to basically do uh, fairly large computations off-chain and then play an interactive game to verify that they're correct on-chain. And so basically using uh, Truebit's off-chain computation capabilities to kind of once again uh, allow more general state transition tracking on plasma child chains. This is you. You gotta tell me how great I was. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this event was uh, incredibly well put together and organized, and I just want to express my gratitude for the woman behind it all, who put it. she carried everything on her bare shoulders. All of it. I want to thank everybody for showing up and really participating. It was a great event. It's so easy to, to choreograph this type of event when people show up to really work and to work together and to share ideas and, and to build the future. So it's been a pleasure and it's been really smooth and uh, scaling now to next year. Yeah, where should we do it next year? South Africa. Okay. Yeah. Right. I like it. Go big. Yeah.